rumors are true. Rumors are true. Names that are legendary. Stock legends. Stock legends. Hey, good day traders. Stocklegends.com here. Today we're looking at DIGX. Before we get in the technicals, please go to our website, stocklegends.com. You'll be able to read our in-depth research report. Uh, it'll say DGIX up here in the ticker box. And be sure to click on it and read the research report. Also, you can join us on Twitter on the front page. Click on the blue bird. And also, you can join our newsletter by entering your name and email address and selecting join. Taking a look at the technicals, this is a bit of an interesting chart because it's what we call a pennant pattern or in this particular case, this is likely going to lead into a reversal. So it looks like it's going to be a pennant reversal pattern. Generally pennants form uh, to signal beginnings of trends. Uh, usually they can be the reversing of a upward trend into a downward trend or what looks like is having, happening here is we're having a downward trend possibly reversing into an upward trend. Uh, we have a trend line here, this red one, which I've uh, marked as resistance. We've connected three high points towards it. And uh, so this is basically the resistance line that we're going to be looking at in the top part of our downtrend. And what happens is generally in a downtrend, sometimes we have a sharp pullback where the stock pulls far away from our trend line. What happens is this starts to build up positive pressure uh, to counteract the resistance. This is generally where we see a breakout where the volatility gets really big and then the volatility starts to get more narrow and what is the signal for that breakout point is where the volume increases and that usually leads to a big breakout. Now we have big explosive volume today, 227,000 shares were traded today, uh, up from quite a bit over the last several days. You can see volume was almost non-existent and now we're starting to see volume come in over the last three trading days. Uh, so that's really exciting because it looks like there's some activity going on here and we should be able to generate some momentum from this activity to break the stock out and we could see a really nice run. We do have some intermediary resistance around the 10, 11 cent area. Uh, I've drawn this dotted line here right around the 10 cent level. It looks like we've come up and tested this 10 cent level here twice in the last two days. Also, we could probably push up a little bit. You can see it was previously a support here around the 11 cent area. So probably in this vicinity, we have a little bit of resistance. Currently at 8 cents, that should easily leave you with a 20, 30% move before we even test, uh, test the resistance area. And of course, over the next few days, possibly on Monday, if we do get a breakout, we could see a real nice run happen. But we wouldn't really see any resistance, probably until the 20 cent area looks like our next point. You can see some resistance up in here. Also previous support uh, then becomes resistance. So watch for about 20, 21 cents as a resistance. And of course, a little higher up, about the 27 cent area as well, uh, looks like our next resistance area. Taking a look at some of the indicators, we have our MACD lines which is just starting to cross over. That gives us a bullish crossover signal, suggests positive momentum is coming into the stock. I don't have a lot of history here because the stock hasn't really traded for too many months and it hasn't even traded that long where we've had um, much of a MACD lines to go off of it, as these are um, moving averages over a period of time and until a certain number of days goes by, uh, these don't even get plotted. Also, we're taking a look at the slow STO. You can see it's curving up nicely. Again, the Williams is also starting to curve up looking great here. Taking a look at the RSI, we definitely hit oversold here when we had our big price drop down to the 4 cent area. Um, this gave us an oversold signal where RSI hit 30 and now you can see it's starting to trend up. So that's also a good sign, currently at 40 and we could possibly run up to 70, 80, 90 on the RSI if we see a nice run occur. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, be sure to stop by stockbuttons.com and sign up for the investment research or read the investment research report and sign up for the newsletter and happy trading.